Zotul. Thank you so much, Mitch, and the boys at the desk there, breaking this one down pretty well, actually, and pretty handily between Renegade and Vici. A lot to be said about this matchup, in theory, right? It's And it only really becomes apparent, I feel, because of yesterday's games. Yeah. In, Practically on paper, Renegade should have this every day of the week, but they also shouldn't have lost to Chiefs in the manner they did. Exactly. Like, before last night's matchup, that was just abysmal from Renegades. You, you would have just you kind of would almost look past this match a little bit and say yeah. this, this should be Renegades easily. But the fact of how, how they played yesterday was just so bad. I mean, players were scared. There was no confidence in the way they played. This makes them very, very vulnerable to this Vici team. Now, we'll get into the, the theory of this, but I'm curious to see how this starts as well. And this is a massive hit towards B. Although Nexa seems a little warmed up here. Going to find Elmung pretty quickly. And that's a bit of a head to claim as well, considering how good he was before. Azra as well going to chime in on the crossfire. And so far, Ooh. Vici are getting absolutely destroyed. Piece by piece, falling apart. That was nice by Nexa. Playing that really well. Got a couple of good headshots. He's going to get a third kill in the round. And there's the fourth right at the... Oh, no, you still grabs that one. But beautiful performance from the from the young star. And that was, that was the big thing as well, because we didn't see a whole lot out of him yesterday. Now... Mm. We, we haven't touched on it too much. We did mention it in the broadcast yesterday. There's a lot on this this young guy's shoulders. I mean, I think he's... I really do need to get his actual age now. I think it's something like 18 or 19. Coming out of Serbia, hasn't played in a whole... He hasn't played at this level ever before. Yep. Um, he's also the in-game leader for this team. So, I mean, this is his biggest LAN event he's ever played in. So, there's a lot of pressure on top of the in-game leading that he's got to do. And I've got to say, it might be an unsaid fact or something that doesn't get mentioned as much. For Renegades mentally, just getting that first round on the board has got to feel good as well. Because yeah. they, they came off of just a horrific loss, just get, getting right back into it next year as well, playing well in that. It's got to feel good for him. It's got to put him in that nice little position just to feel like, all right, at least I can frag. I can do this now. So, you know, off to the good good start. Nifty could be pressured up towards a -Long. Gets caught here. Massively out of position. No support able to come in from JKS as well. He was pretty far away from that one. And now, okay, a frag goes over towards Vici, but... I not they're going to instantly commit towards A off the back of it. Yeah, a little mistaken timing there from Nifty. I think uh, maybe JKS fell back a little more. Couldn't couldn't cover him for that one player coming through doors and up those dangerous stairs. Either way, he, he misreads the situation. It's a little bit unfortunate. Actually, even Ozzy getting dinked down and dropped by Almond. Those are a couple of nice shots. And now, I mean, it's only JKS here, the, the lone player. And he's far back in the site. So, I mean, a little interesting that Ozzy's chosen to get so aggressive when he's so far back. But now he's got everything to do. Five players here. Nice flashbang comes in, but he's only able to get one. This is looking like a lost round unless you still can do some magic. There's a good kill. Jackson caught out in the open. But three guns recovered as well for Vici Shaw. Advent doesn't have any armor with it, but the rest do. So it's going to actually be pretty that's awkward. And now the retake begins. Next is actually chimed in with one, which is so imperative. But look at the HP here. Now, Zoking in a decent position as well. Going to take the first fight and wins it. Now he's still down on only 8 HP, but he does have a kit. Sprays in through the wood, but he gives it away. And Zoking's going to swing out and take that fight. But let's let's review that round a little bit. The kill on towards Azra is something you dream of getting in those situations. You're not normally gifted that opportunity to pick up another kill from that situation. Yeah, I mean, the misread from Nifty is something you could still recover from, right? But Azra being that that far down with no kind of support whatsoever, just very, very curious decision making. Mm. It's actually, I was talking to, to Chad about this just, just yes last night, is the, the amount of drop-off we've seen out of JKS and Azra over the past year has been incredible. I mean, these were two guys that at one point were just like, holy crap, how skilled are they? This Renegades mm. lineup could actually develop into something. And we just haven't seen anything out of them at any time recently. So this is a little bit frightening and nifty. I mean, having a nightmare of a time these past two rounds of the timing over in those holes. Look, everyone calls him a Call of Duty player and that upsets me because he's actually a Black Ops player, Black Ops 2, and they don't, they don't count. They're not... Ah, oh, you elitist you know? Call of Duty players. <laughs> so much on your high horse. It must because, be nice. Because we cling to nostalgia because no one can actually doubt us because no one remembers that far back. That's okay. that's that's the whole deal. It's, it's it's like you and you're like, I was great at CS, I promise. Yeah, well, not actually sure, practically remembers it. I know. But you can just say it and people are like, no, it's probably probably true. It's <laughs> the best part. <laughs> but Built a whole career on that foundation. <laughs> and I'm not going to start taking it down <laughs> now. I love it. Anyway, let's look at Renegades and how they're going to have to deal with this one. They are a player down, even though it's a four before it always kind of sucks on this map especially because it's so hard to play a retake on this so putting one player towards drop one incredibly I, I guess still playing pretty close up by plateau and the other two dedicated towards a vg vg of everything now yeah this is kind of on you still wants to get some information obviously and nexa just wants to get that early spot and i believe he got it yeah he's not going for any more peak so he knows they're there you can see the rotations coming in but that molotov puts him in an awkward spot he's got to get away he gets around the corner just in time his teammates here crossfire set up but just a drive by from freeman Two players down, JKS. He gets one dink, but he can't complete the kill. It's going to be an easy plant, and from here, this this round gets very, very difficult. Yeah, JKS and Azza, the classics, I guess you could call them, of this team. The ones that everyone started to know and expect big things from need to 
dig deep here somehow. I, I don't see this being a possibility, and now even less so Zoking. He's just going to push for this one, and he will find both in the end. JKS falls, and it does seem as though we do have a pause coming a out, tactical. and it's a, a tactical one yeah. this early. I guess, as well, you don't want to let this spiral oh, no. away. Now it's, now it's technical. Now it's technical? Okay. Okay. I was about to say, this is super early for a tactical pause. Well, we saw the early ones come out yesterday from Kassad as well. A lot of that was, in my opinion, just because of how... I mean, obviously in that train match, that first gun round was the one where they just let the time run out. Um, mm. So obviously, um, going to have to take more tactical pauses, perhaps just because, you know, like we said, new in-game leader and Nexa, new new lineup pretty much all together over the course of the past month. So they have a lot of things they want to get figured out. And I, and I think also you might want to get tactical pauses out of the way early to avoid any kind of snowball effect that we saw yesterday. You don't want to get in that foot because then everything kind of starts feeling like it's happening again. And the things that Renegades, I, I think, whether you know it or not from watching these guys, if you watch them on a regular basis or you, you know them through whatever it may be, social media or however, these, these guys are quite emotional players in, in a way and, and there are benefits and negatives to it. And when it goes well, it goes brilliantly for them, I can imagine. You, you feel almost untouchable, but when it goes badly, recovery is tough and you, you see it taken out of their performance. So for them, you know, new players coming in as well, you want to keep them on that nice, even ground. You want to keep them calm and like, all right, yeah, two rounds gone. That's no problem. It is a technical timeout anyway, so that's that's no real bother. But still, for Renegades, I'm, I'm curious to see how they recover here. So far, you know, they haven't had the best situations. They kind of got a little unfortunate, but then again, Azza did get caught out in a couple of positions that were a little bit questionable coming in on that second round, which obviously Vici did manage to turn. But let's look at how Vici are playing so far, because we did say, or as I guess said on the desk, that they like kind of uh, very preset plans that are quite easily read it seems like they have a plan in mind and they'll just kind of run it. They don't have that kind of switch up. They don't have a little bit more, I guess, you know, they don't just default and see how it feels out. They don't play off a pick. Yeah, I mean, look at the round so far. The Pistron was with that split towards the B bomb site. I think it was two down drop and three coming from Broken One. They lose mm -hmm. that, but the second round is, is, you know, four in the A halls, one coming through the double doors up the danger stairs. Just now, I mean, in a four on four, we saw pretty much everyone just stream out the Broken Wall again. So yeah. staying very, very clumped up and just focusing on trades, focusing on getting into the bomb sites and getting into those duels. Um, and then so far, I mean, it's worked. They've gone. They've had the two rounds they've won have basically been against pistol, so they've had a good advantage. It will be interesting to see when the guns come out, when when the op gets in Nifty's hands, how they're going to be able to manage that one. Yeah, and I, I'm, all my eyes are set towards Nexa as well. I, I've been impressed so far with what he's been doing individually. It, it looks like it looks good. Maybe putting his hours in this morning, getting in early, just just getting warmed up, wanting to make sure he doesn't have that mistake, or you know, having those individual problems that he was seeming to face yesterday. And he's still got to do the in-game lead. He's still got a lot on his shoulders, but. We'll see if he can continue the performance going into the more, I guess, trickier rounds in this one. The tough part is this Renegades team is just like a team that's known to shut down. Like very, we, we saw it yesterday very early on in that match where they just got blanked by Chiefs. But I mean, even outside of that, even in some of the other matches, um, I know they have a couple of players that have a tendency to, to go quiet when things are going yeah. wrong. And when you have a new in-game leader on top of that, who's also brand new into the team, who hasn't established himself as, as a leader in terms of in-game or out of game, um, when you have players that shut down like that, it just it just gets worse, right? Like there, there's no real recovery from it because yeah. you haven't established him as a leader who can say, all right, guys, like stop, stop being emo, stop being tilted, yeah. whatever it might be. Uh, I wonder how much authority he has. Obviously, he does have Kassad behind him, so you'll yeah. always kind of get the backup there, just like, you know... You've He's got Kassad kind of for those 30-second timeouts. Yeah, and Must be nice. Fair, we was, I was sat in the green, green room earlier. Oh, that's a nice shot of the desk. <laughs> 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 I was glad that no one's just sat there. <laughs> just awkwardly, Picking their nose. Yeah, exactly. No, but um, we were, I was sat in the green room earlier making uh, a cup of tea, and I looked out the window, and Kassad was just pacing through the car park on his yep. own. Just, it yeah, looked I like he was that. just focusing. I don't know what he was doing. It might have been completely irrelevant, but... Quite interesting to see him, you know, on his own, looked very much just considering what's going to be coming. Because, again, I, you know, we, we build this up as if Renegades have a possibility to lose this. And, the, and the, it is very much real, but it shouldn't happen. That's, that's as simple as it is. These guys you know, are a decent team. They performed very well during the Pro League, you know, the ESL Pro League. On the online phase over in North America, they moved out there. They've got, you know, a lot going for them. But... They, they seem on a bit of a knife's edge at the moment. This round should be a bit of a throwaway. Vici shouldn't lose out on too much. I like the stack towards long actually coming up from Renegades. If you're playing against Vici, I guess you know that they like to hit those sides as a collective, you know, all together. Why not try and get a couple of kills off the back of it? I doubt a round win's going to happen, but it could be nice to get some damage done, maybe a gun away. Yeah, these guys are just running straight forward as well. There's no slowing down once they get into action. I mean, Nexus spotted at the double doors and they just keep moving forward and Renegades are punishing this. Still trying to come in as, as Vici and they get a kill. They should sustain from here. They know where you still are is three kills though for the Renegades guys. They had a five man stack at this A bomb site. Four were in hull, so a little bit circumvented by by the attack from Vici, but 3-1, now the guns are going to come out. I don't think there's going to be AWP. There's not on the CT side. So it's one UMP and Aza. The M4 is around that. All AK-47s for Vici suggesting they want to keep up a faster pace. 
we'll keep keep a little watch towards Vichy. See what they do. It does seem as though they, they do like a little bit of pace to what they bring into these T sides. But again, it's more eyes towards Renegades. How do they now keep themselves up in this one? This is a big round for them. Mentally coming into this, you want to get that gun round. You, you don't... Okay, yeah, sure. You got turned in the second round. No worries. Let's just focus on that gun round coming in. Next to... Puts himself up on the platform. Gonna actually look above the smoke. Nice little angle there he's gonna be able to find. I do think Jackson's watching it from the other side. He's been boosted up, I can imagine, towards a box on the left. And he is watching. A little bit of spam comes through, but nothing too much. Nothing to write home about. Yeah, and this is, I, I guess, uh, as close to a default as yeah. you're going to get out of Vici. I mean, Freeman just kind of watching for the mid-push. Four players going to be over towards this B-bomb site. Ooh. This is scary. This is a tense situation. When does Aza choose to peek? I think as soon as he sees the nade, he's going to pop up. Here it comes. Yep, that's nice timing. Finds an easy kill. Can fall away as well. Two players in there. And then Molotov forces him back. That's a nice start to this round for Renegades. Lovely touch there from Aza. Showing a little bit of experience and class coming through. Next, although willing to take the fight... Does manage to isolate Jackson all alone, and the smoke cuts off anyone from being able to support him. So now Nexa can post up even better positions. Now, somehow Freeman did find Nifty, and that might cause a bit of play towards A. And what? He's found another JKS has gone. What's gone over by A? One individual man has opened up so many opportunities. As a, he can get here, but he can't get in a safe position to be able to safe, you know, secure this entire site. Great timing on the play from Freeman. He finds it perfectly when the players are trying to rotate. Aza now close to the site with this UMP. No one peeking up a ramp. He can stop this if he jumps up. Is his teammate covering him? No. He looks away at the wrong moment. The bomb does get planted, but they have control of the site. No utility left on the CT side. This is going to be so hard, though, for Freeman to hold. He's got an angle. He's dedicated towards it. But Nexa is there. Aza's going to push up to try and get the fight. It will be Ustilo to win it. Now it's just down to Zokin. What a shot towards Nexa. It's a 1v2. They're both facing. They're both pushing. And he can't handle the pressure. They will be able to get the defuse coming in. Azra and Ustilo just stem the bleed in this round. That looks so dangerous when Freeman found those two. Yeah, that's dicey. I think he just found a little bit of a pocket. Yeah, he gets it. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if Nifty realized it. Yeah, he didn't. He was just coming around the corner. And I'm not even sure JKS... Take a fight. I mean, he had a chance there, actually. I thought maybe he got caught off guard by how far advanced in those halls he was, but good play. That gets a little bit more expensive than they would have liked, obviously, with the opening two kills. Op now in the hands of Jackson on the VG side, so maybe slowing down a little bit. And all those deaths at the end there, Nexa and Oz are forced under the UMPs. Let's see if Jackson can get something that going towards Platt. We've been seeing Nexa playing up here a couple of times now, so might be a bit of an answer to that, but you still is actually the one close enough to it. Smoke goes in. Oh, that's an angle. He can see that. Jackson will find it maybe a little bit different on his screen to what we saw, but he does find it anyway through the traces, whatever gave it away. But that's an opening frag that you are very pleased to pick up. Yeah, and that's that's going to be so tough. I mean, look at the utility that's left. One smoke on Nifty, two Molotovs on Aza and JKS. They don't have a lot to block off these choke points. This is where Vici, they can really apply a lot of pressure. Still, again, all five players over towards the B-bomb site. After that one pick, suggesting this is just eventually going to be a hit. And there it is, down drop zone. Alza's a little bit blind, but he recovers very well. Now platform, Nexa's got to step up. Yeah, Nexa's going to have to somehow deal with the pressure coming his way, and he's done that with the first. Maybe a little over overzealous to try and get some more done, but couldn't fall back. Zoki will find him as he tries to step away. But now JKS, Azza, and Nifty looking to control the situation. VG have kind of hit the brakes here a little bit, unable to get towards the side just yet. The bomb waiting to make its way over just gets dropped out as well. They're going to boost up towards the tree. Jackson's going to try and find an angle, but the rock's still going to play behind it, so Jackson could be in trouble here if he's not aware, but Zoking's just covered it now. Now Azza going to go for the counter boost as well. Nifty pops him up. And I don't know if they're going to be able to play back into this. Yeah, that's a lot of time for JKS to be behind that rock. Basically, all alone of that boost is going on over a minute with an AWP, or about 45 seconds to a minute with the AWP. And on top of that boost, and yeah, they might be locked out of this round. They have kits, but they're just so far away. And yeah, they're backing off already. Nice job from Vici. The op rings true. One critical kill. Zoking, though, with two that really opens things up for Vici. And yeah, this is heartbreak. This is a reset. I mean, they're going to have these weapons into the next one, and likely they'll be able to drop some UMPs as well. Aza's going to be able to drop an M4 if he needs to, but it's going to be a very, very weak buy. So Renegade's on, on the verge of, of an economic collapse here early on. Yeah, and, and the difference that opening pick makes. Jackson, the first time he's really had that AWP to hand as well, able to find yeah. it. still doesn't really play up on the plateau. Nexa who did it Nexa in the so previous game, yeah. Maybe a little bit of a switch up. Maybe I don't know what, what changed it there for them, but yeah, as highlighted, money is a real issue now. You can see the drops coming through. There's always that kind of that school of thought on the CT side that, that is saying, why take those risks in rounds where you've just won one, right? You don't want to take those risks in a round where so much relies on it. When Because now look at the buy that they have coming in. If you don't take that risk, you give yourself a better chance to establish some economy. The risks are all well and good when you can back it up with a solid buy behind it. 
But either way, JKS going to start things off over towards A. I believe that was uh, that was through the double doors. Yeah, that was just a wall bang straight through mid. Lovely bit of pressure alleviated away from Nifty, who's been having a bit of trouble dealing with them at long. Just the timing didn't seem to work out for him a couple of times. Got caught out a few others. But he's going to be boosted up, and I can imagine now maybe JKS can back away from it if he wants to. Maybe keep a little bit of a different position in mind, because he can just assume that now Long is locked down. But for now, no real response from Vici, and there's great information play coming over here next. Uh, I guess with little to lose, apart from the CZ and the armor, feels a little bit more brazen, a little bit braver to go for those plays looking down towards Plateau. He sees nothing, so you can see that JKS hasn't left towards A either. This has been a tough spot, as we mentioned, Nifty. A lot of uh, a lot of struggles over here, and this they're not going to check it. That's a nice shot with the UMP and a second to follow up. That's the bomb. Should be the round pretty much secure. JKS and Dangerous there's massive damage has been done over to Almond, and they don't have to peek. They can just stall this out with nades. There's smoke onto the Molotov blocks him, and yeah, Vici. 40 seconds left. You think maybe they want to go for some kills, but against five, it's just kind of like save this AWP for the next round, save the weapons, get another buy. So good defensive stand. Obviously, having that opening pick on JKS helps very, very much. Something that Renegades hasn't had through some of these gun rounds. And it's I, I, a little bit, you know, call it luck, call it school, call it what you want. It's, it's a kill that counts at the end of the day and straight through the door. I don't know if there was like anyone shooting back towards JKS because he's taken no damage, but at the end of the day, he just manages to find it. And then obviously Nifty propped up into a nice position over by A long certainly helps. And Renegade's tentatively looking for these remaining weapons, but not sending too many players out. I think it's just Nexa really trying to recover the rifle that was down and upgrade a couple of the pieces they've got, and they've just done that. Yeah, they don't really have the money for this. Anything is going to hurt. So they do lose JKS, not the biggest deal. Four rifles, still sustain. They're going to have to drop one over to him. Money isn't exactly great on the Vici side, but they do have that AK-47, the AWP. We've seen them. I mean, the op getting that one pick, and yeah, this is looking like just fortunate spam. Oh, uh, so I'm all shooting through it. Oh, oh that's, God. <laughs> yeah. that's horrible to see. Yeah, that's so crushing if you're soaking on the other side <laughs> of that. Like, okay, good. Good, 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 good. That was a fun that's, round. That's what I wanted to happen. Um, but, you know, I'm wondering if now Vici fall back into maybe doing a little bit more decisive play. I guess you kind of get turned away from taking your time a little bit more of a default play when you're getting picked apart, even though it was kind of unfortunate how it went down. These guys do seem rather favorable to just kind of hitting as a pack, so... Maybe something we'll see down the line. But again, Renegades know they're still on notice here. There is still that orb up. They can still get a decent enough buy. They know the money isn't completely sh completely shattered. And at the moment, it looks like Peachy going to fall back towards hitting that A site. For now, at least taking some control towards long, maybe forcing Nifty back, which he actually has done. He's already fallen back towards that stable side. Yeah, and JKS has rotated back as well. Aza is playing in, in the connector, not in drop. So he'll have a quick rotation also when they notice this. It's just a matter of Nifty staying alive long enough to buy time for that. Playing pretty disjointed at the moment. JKS down on the ramp, and here comes Aza. I think he hears the footsteps, so he's called for the rotation over. He's still pretty isolated down here, though, but a good defensive setup at the moment. Got to be a little careful. He's still, if he'd pushed up further, he could have been in trouble there. I think Almung is still hanging around over by drop, but the push continues, and it's Nifty who's first up to the challenge. Jackson there with the orb. Nice timing on the flash, though. Going to kind of force them off the angle. Plays back into it, though, and he might start hearing this orb scoping in and out. I'm not sure how far he is. Freeman does find JKS, and that's a bit of a problem. Nifty now feels a little alone. He does have the support from Azza now coming in towards the balcony just behind, but Nifty stands tall. He doesn't need the help just yet. Still able to do some damage. Finally gets overwhelmed, but it is a 3v3. The T-side in relatively decent positions. Nexa could be in trouble here if he's not switched on, but he is. That's a nice little follow-up, too. This guy looks like he's bringing a little bit more heat this round. Yeah, he's, he seems pretty zoned in this match compared to yesterday. Those are some very, very nice shots, and obviously, even even though they lose one player, since they'd already cheated Aza over, they still had two players to defend to delay time. Really, really nice to get those rotations over. And Vici, they just couldn't get enough of the entry kills. I mean, especially Nifty had a big play, just getting those two kills over towards the, the A-holes. And Nexa goes for a little bit of a stop. And, yep, that's yep. going to be play stopped as well. Nexa did crash. We got the, the benefit of seeing it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, observers. That's what I like to see. Keeping that info flowing. But... It looks like the Renegades have maybe stemmed a little bit of the bleed so far. Yeah, I mean, now they've gotten some things established. This is yeah. going to be, I believe it's going to be an easier round for them. Uh, Should be. Yeah, I was concentrating on the, the chat of what happens <laughs> versus the buy. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this this is now, they're going to have a chance to kind of springboard this. And, and, I mean, it comes down to keeping enough players alive again, build up some of the money. Mm -hmm. That was a nice second shot from Nexa. It's lovely. Yeah, it was beautiful. Good for him. And, and I'm glad we're getting to see this because, you know, on the, on the big screen, it's, it's you want your debut to kind of go well to, to an international audience. Even though they have played a couple of games, obviously, this is this is an offline environment. It feels different. You, you want to play well. And you want to show that I'm here for a reason. It's not just, you know, I just got picked up because, 
you know, I'm, I'm someone's friend or, you know, any of this. You want to prove, like, what you can bring. And this guy, he's showing he's got that really nice individual skill so far. See if it continues throughout the rest of the game. But we're seeing some crisp shots coming out. Anyway, into this one, as you highlighted. Not a great buy coming out from Fiji here. Money's kind of depleted at this point. He still out fancies the old uh, stat paddy. Yeah, he does. Although he's not going to get it quite yet. Molotov forces him away. I mean, that's all been taking some fire. This just proceeds them to come out drop. And that's also with a nice double spray down. Can't get the third, though. So that's one rifle salvaged by the Vici guys. But I don't think they can really do anything with it. He still is going to get aggressive. He's going to try and shut this down. It's JKS with one more headshot. And yeah, this should be pretty easy here. Everyone's low. Nade's streaming in. Freeman just has no idea where it's going to come. And this is... Um, He's just kind of holding Going his breath, praying. Yeah, just. Not, oh, oh God! Oh God! <laughs> I thought I was gonna kill him with the <laughs> head. If it was a little lower. Oof! That would have been perfect. This has got to be a tactical. Yes, this one is tactical. That now, who's have a called it? Uh, Renegades. Okay. Interesting time. They've been seemingly doing pretty well for themselves, but again, you can see Cassad incredibly animated in this. Kind of talking. It looks like through Nexer almost. It's just. Uh, Taking this into mind and wondering what the game plan is now. Maybe preparing themselves for that next buy round. Maybe just, you know, all right, keep these things in mind. Keep this as a as a back burner in the back of your mind at the moment. Yeah, and also, I mean, just keeping him focused, keeping him centered. Said, yes, we've won, what, three in a row now? Yes, three in a row, four of the last five. Like, stay focused. Don't let this drop. This should We should be able to kind of close this out from now. We are better. We have the experience. Um, that that's kind of what he's preaching. Just you know, stay stay focused. Do make the right decisions. Don't get over overly aggressive. Don't try and make too many plays. Now, from Vici, it's it's pretty quiet over there. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> they very they quiet. are not having a chat. They're just chilling now. They are they are ready to go though. So, a very short pause, of course, coming through. And hopefully, for Renegades, have got themselves mentally prepared for what's going to be coming their way. Vici though could fall back into what we expect from them. There's more kind of all-encompassing hits that hit the sites together and they just try and overwhelm, try and get good trades going on, which could be a nice response, but looking at how they're playing this one out, Nex is sitting pretty far back now at the back of, back of the statue. You're still going up towards the plateau. This is a bit of a different look here. I'm actually going to position himself just in towards that cubby. So, VG do have mollies, so they could clear this out. One flash comes in, but we'll see if they actually check on this. The molly is down, but where? What? How, how has no one checked on this? This crossfire is now perfect for Renegades. Nexa and you still by so much time, they've completely cut VG down at the knees. And Edvent and Ullman are just left scratching their heads. Well, you can see Nexa on 2 HP. He really took the brunt of that attack. I mean, it was a really nice kind of bait setup where Nexa takes the initial battle, and that's when you still choose it to peak. They're not out of it just yet. With Nexa that low, just a fortunate one kill on Azza here could really open up this site. The Molotov is going to help things out. There's the find. Azza now, he's been spotted out. He misses his opportunity. He's got to get aggressive. Doesn't feel comfortable. He loses that also. Vici, they've turned this around. It's falling apart. Nifty, you've got to dig deep here, my friend. A 1v2, the bomb's going to be planted, and I don't think he can stop it now. Let's look at the after plants as well. Ullman, not too sure where he's coming from. Even checking the back, looking down towards B-Long, but Nifty's still working his way through the doors. This is tough for him to unravel. He does have a molly, some flashes too. And a kid, so it's all very possible. Timing on the peak is good, though, for Advent. Molly's out. Oh! Nifty, what a shot! And now, he needs one more, and he's going to get it. Nifty, that is beastly play. It all looked like it was going to fall apart. Advent turned that situation back around, but Nifty... Not having any of that. What heroics. That would have been a nightmare for Renegades, but, but so poised as well. Just ignoring the first guy who's even shooting at him whatsoever, knowing where the second one is, knowing that's the problematic player that he's got to take out first, and he does it. Gets baited into the peak, and that's crushing for Vici. They felt like they had that. But really, really nice heroics. So Renegades gets to stay in it. Another buy round for them. The double up set up now. Nexta's got one. Nifty's got the other. We saw what he can do with it. And six to four. Yeah, Vici starting to seem to run out of ideas here, it feels. This is this is what the desk is talking about, though, when they say Vici gets a little bit predictable, is we're, we're seeing basically, you know, four ones to start the rounds out, and then and then it's just kind of like hit the bomb site with at least four people. The fifth player comes over very, very early on in the round, and it's just pushed forward without stopping. And there's no discredit to what they can do individually. It's still hard to handle, but it is readable. You get the early rotates, you get the extra man across. Now there are three towards A, but... Still, Vici do encroach towards the side. Nifty is not letting them take an inch at the moment. Already Almond's going to be taken down. You can see Azan now chiming in one as well. JKS yet to have to feel the pressure here. The two teammates basically taking it all for him. But Jackson finally breaks through. Nifty falls. And things maybe start looking a little bit more likely for the Vici boys. 
Well, yeah, he's until a then. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I mean, this, this is the thing. When you're going to go this fast-paced as well, you can see Renegades that run just playing it passive. Just if you don't give up those super early kills to them, um, there, there's it's not a whole lot they can do if you, if you just sit back and get that first kill or two. Because when you go this fast, you don't have time to line up, you know, the set smokes to really block things off. So it's very, very hectic. There's so many angles that Vici has to check as they go. So they don't get a kill pretty quickly in those hits. I mean, they just kind of stall out. You can see the first two players die, and there's three players just left on the ramp with really nowhere to go, nothing to do. Somehow Jackson's found himself away, <laughs> out of this kind of trap that was set up. <laughs> he was scurrying away. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, oh, it reminds me of the, you know, the little character from Ice Age when he's got the little, um, it's like little nut he gets. The him. acorn? Yeah, yeah, he just runs away with it. That is exactly how I'm imagining this. I don't know why. I'm not sure why that's the first thing that came to mind, but right. it is. That's he's scurried away. He's going to find somewhere just to play safe. Look at this lovely little spot here. Oh, it's just just beautiful. Him and his acorn. <laughs> just chilling. <laughs> oh, this could be awful, though. Oh, no. He does get the job done. And no one else can actually challenge. So good stuff from Jackson. Able to keep hold of the orb. But a bit of silver lining there, I guess, at the moment. Looking at the scoreline, 7-4. I'm hoping this is a pause from Vichy. It's a Vici. tactical from Vichy, yes. Yeah. And the question becomes, do they do they want to buy into this around the AWP? They're kind of sitting at, uh, you know, just below 4,000, a couple players, you know, 3,400. So they can get a couple AKs, they can get the UMPs if they choose to. The question yeah. is, I mean, with this AWP, you, you'd want to see them slow things down. There was that round with the AWP earlier in the half where they got the opening pick on Eustillo when he was yep. peeking over the boxes, and then they can kind of go from there. But this kind of idea that they have of just kind of staying grouped up at the beginning and just hitting something with a minute and 20 seconds left in the round, it's not working for them at the moment. So this is likely, hopefully, they have like a second, second idea of how to play the T-side on this map that they want to fall into. We'll see what they can actually come up with here. They're, they aren't long pauses or, you know, you've got to kind of be th quite quick on your feet if you want to come up with a plan. Now, does it like Tech Nines galore and the AWP as well. Now, lovely little player stat. Look at that coming through. Couldn't read it all. But only, only player from Hong Kong and he has the highest reading. Right, my reading capabilities are a little lacking, okay? <laughs> I'm a little bit slow, leave me be. It's that British education system. People just assume that I'm smart because I have a bit of a The accent does make right? you sound uh, intelligent. I am intelligent. thick as hell. That's, <laughs> you know, two planks just put together. That's basically it. But into the round we go. Nifty going to be the one to probably take the brunt of this hit if they keep committing down this route. And it is a 4-1 coming out from Renegade. So maybe this was what they were expecting was that kind of B hit, the faster B hit with the Tech Nines coming in, maybe a drop play. This is a scary setup from Renegades as well. Four players, two and drop, two at the B bomb site. And it, I mean, it's the positioning of Nifty that's kind of scary. So far away, and not only that, but he's in a position where he can't even really get the information of what's coming. He's you're, in... you're, you're depending on the rotate coming through by the balcony, basically, to be able to spot long, because he has no eyes towards it if he's in the little cubby. So, and then playing retake with double ops. It, it, you're, you're putting yourself in a very hard position here. Even though I guess you're happy enough to give them the bomb plant, you're, you're still playing at a disadvantage. Yeah, I mean, this is an angle where, I mean, you should be able to get at least one kill ideally down that mid-ramp at the very least. The question is, what, what comes after that? Because even in a 4 and 5, with the rotations this far away, Vici st should still be able to manage it. Yeah, he misses the initial shot. He's fours back. He's only got one peak, and that's blocked out. This is the danger of double op setups. This is the danger of playing this kind of a setup in particular. Look how locked out they are. It's a nice hit from Vici. I don't know if they're going to be able to hold it on the retake. That's the next thing, but so far it's good. They've got the smokes into place. They've got good after plant positioning. They've kind of got this one covered. The threat being the one around the back could be Yustillo, but still, time is being bought here, and actually the boost comes out. Freeman goes in for it, spots out two, information gets passed, but no kills are found, which is a problem. Now Yustillo can come into play. I don't know if anyone's actually facing this just yet. Jackson's going to be holding a bit of an angle that won't play to it, so that's quite interesting, but Azza just walks right through. He does turn around in time, does found arming, and there the play comes from Yustillo. That's the important one. He makes the most of it, but that time was pretty low. Yeah, that's that's a dangerous, dangerous way to play that round, and they almost they almost lost it. In fact, if that boost doesn't come in and it's a five on five, maybe maybe they don't get it. I understand the play from Vici, even just one kill there. They had to, and also, I mean, on top of that, the long flank from Yusilo they had to wait for. So dangerous from Renegades, especially because with the style of play that Vici's been in this whole half, you know why why give up that much information? You kind of get the sense that Vici's not throwing fakes. So as soon as you see yeah. kind of where they're setting up and where they're coming. Um, you're going to be able to rotate and just, you know, all five players are going to be there. Yeah. We're, this is another tactical pause, by the way. <laughs> just, just like, thank you, know. you. Thank no. you. No, no, no. I'm, I'm very pleased. I know my reading is slow, Jason, but I can, <laughs> I can, I can cover tactical pause. I've got it. Don't worry. Just got to just, you know, sound it out when I get there. But, uh, yeah, no, this, this is interesting now for, uh, VG. It, it, you know, it's the thing, theory crafting wise, it seems like they can get these sites, they can get the bomb plants, they, they can get close enough, but 
just not able to hold on in that round at least. This time, we'll see how they fare into this. And they, again, this 4-1 coming out. At least this time, Nifty's a little bit more aggressive. I mean, it, I mean, as, that, I, as I say that, <laughs> he does just get annihilated. <laughs> so, well, that's a bit, that's a bit awkward. I think we were speaking out of danger, right? Uh, danger or just or behind? Yeah, it had to have been, I guess. Yeah, Either way, JKS is here now to kind of man it down, and he's going to have the information that there's no more pressure coming behind this. So when does he decide to get aggressive? Ooh, this could be an interesting misread. I don't know if you still have seen anything or heard anything, but because he pushed up so far, he might try and fall away from this and cause another rotate. Cause he pushed up B plateau and then kind of went a little further forward, saw nothing, heard nothing, and now he's actually fallen off. He's, I guess the, the call's been made that you know Azza can rotate over, JKS is still over A, there's only two of B, so this is interesting now. It's another round where Nexa's going to have a big job to do with his AWP. He's going to be on B platform. He's the one who has to spot things out. Zoking's gotten close. There's a nice pick, and actually Nexa's not prepared for him to be that close. The Molotov is going to separate him, but Zoking is completely blind. Nice counter flashes, but he needs to get the kills. They're not coming in. There it is. Blind this time. Zoking does find him. It's a three on three, and Vici storming this bomb site. The AWP is going to help out. This is great position for Jackson. Yeah, Jackson perfectly poised to be able to do the damage, but Advent's going to go in there for him. He doesn't need the help just yet. Azza, though, left in the 1v2. Position now duly noted, but we've seen these unravel before. It wasn't by Azza. Let's see if he can have a go at it. No utility to play on either, so this gets a little bit tougher. Jackson holding the angle, baiting out the shot there. Azza trying to find a way to play back into this again. Running a dangerous route, but he does find one. Jackson goes, and now it's a 1v1. Advent's put on notice. This has got to be terrifying. They lose it again. Another 2v1 is lost, and Azza, this time, the one to make it happen. And you've got to be gutted if you're Vici, but Renegades, it's all working out for them. Yeah, baiting out these shots. That's so nice from Azza, and just staying poised, trying to bait them into a peek, and it works out a lot of time in that bomb. That's a sick little crouch slide to get that kill onto Jackson. You almost feel, though, at, at a certain point, the idea has got to be, you know, the bomb is a teammate. Jackson, just leave leave your player with the AK to be the aggressive one. Just kind of hide and play the bomb. Wait for him to tap it. Just kind of abandon him in that situation. It's a tough call to make in those on the, on the spur of the moment. But either way, really, really nice play from Azza in that round. 16 kills on you, still 0, 13 on to Azza, leading the way for them. Yeah, closing out the clutches, playing like this has got to be a great confidence boost for these guys. And they definitely need it. And Nifty, again, takes so much damage at the start. I can imagine that's just maybe Jackson tagging him through the corner or someone just spraying through the door. I'm not too sure who's be able to connect that, but a good start, I guess. You know, it's not the worst thing to have an AWP down on lower HP. You can yeah. still operate to a decent degree, but still, that could have been a beginning again for Vici, but at the moment, it feels like they've kind of run out of steam here. And again, Nexa and Eustillo playing aggressive on that B platform. I mean, it's, it's kind of reminiscent of what we saw from North yesterday with Cajun and Magisk. Really working together well. Have that deep smoke force Vici away as long as humanly possible. This is a bit more split from Vici. Probably the f one of the real, really first times we've seen it. Two players over towards A pretty far advanced working in tandem. And two players over towards B just kind of looking for pushes. Haven't found any kills quite yet. But it's not a bad idea considering how much success they've had on Nifty in this half. I just never want to spectate Zoking because it just hurts my head. What was it yesterday? A cracked out seagull with the head just snapping around. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the phrase I used. No, but I think that was mine. That was that, that was, was me. that was you. That was all you, and it's accurate. Mm -hmm. I'm not disputing it at all. But what we are seeing so far is a big old hit towards B, and so far Nexa looks unfazed by this. He's getting the individual fights, and he's winning every one of them. That's a second to be added to his tally thus far. Nifty going to claim Zoking. Thank God for that. Can't spectate the, the, the crazy <laughs> sense anymore. I'm just saying, like, please make it stop. Jackson going to just try and back away. But 10 seconds left. I don't think he's going to be found at this point. He's pretty far away if he goes towards the tower. But, yeah, Renegade's full in control now, it feels. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've really sustained from early on. I mean, there was a point of collapse, and this time we just didn't see him do it, which is really nice to see. They had lost three in a row, then won one. That was the fifth round, and then they had lost the following, and it put them on, on notice. You know, they had a couple UMPs, a couple saved weapons as well, but, I mean, after that, it's been all them. They've now won eight in a row. This is the Renegades we expected, though. This is, this is what we were meant to see throughout their games. I wouldn't say this is the perfect example of what they can achieve, but it's better, it's... It's the team that should be getting these results in. 10 4 is still a decent scoreline. It's still viable for Vici to turn this around in the second half, but it looks like Renegades are on point individually as well, which is the important thing for them. Now, Deep Smoke goes in. That's Nexa placing it down. But Vici are a little further ahead. That Ooh. nade does a little bit of work for him as well. Actually, a lot of work looking at Freeman and Zoking for kind of setting up those frags. But the reply comes out from Jackson, but it's all for nothing at this point, considering Ustillo is still hammering at home. Oh. 
Yeah, it swings out a little bit too wide there. One kill for Jackson. That makes this doable. He's got he's got the angle with the AWP now. You want him to be... Oh, I know. He dropped off the platform. They're going to go for a boost. It's going to get stomped by Aza. Oh! Nice spin from Jackson. He's got three, but he's got to go for the ace. I don't think he's going to be prepared. Nifty with his AWP is in drop room, and he's pushing up and not considering it whatsoever. It's all down to timing. you got to risk it for a biscuit, but this biscuit might not be worth it. Jackson... Oh my god, what are you up to? And doesn't hit the shot, and JKS does close out in the end. An 11-4 half is exactly what the Doctor would have ordered for Renegades. They needed that to be looking this sort of concise. So hopefully coming to the second half just after the break, we'll see this continue for the Renegades boys. Vici sitting on only four rounds here at I am Sydney. They need this one to stay alive in this very mind. Renegade sitting on 11 rounds though on the half. A brilliant recovery after a bit of a shaky start after that second round got turned. You felt maybe this could be the downfall of them, but no, they recovered well. Yeah, and I mean, these are the stats of the two offers going, uh, not really going head to head too often, but a yeah. couple times Jackson managed to pick a nifty off. I mean, mostly he just had some, some mistimings early on in that half. That led to some of those early rounds being given up by Renegades, but they sustained nicely. Where yesterday when they encountered difficulty, they just they just collapsed. This time they, they hold strong, and they close out the half very, very well. Now on to the T side. And Vici actually not playing anyone really in the bomb side. They're pretty late getting there. If this had been a fast B play, they might have just been in trouble, but... What this is Renegades. This? They're, just, they're just waiting for some kind of aggression at this A bomb site. See if they can get a couple lucky kills. <laughs> not gonna happen. <laughs> I, I like the intent, though. It doesn't go all that well, but uh, play up long begins. This is what was a bit frustrating watching them yesterday. I remember Chad saying they were one like between these two teams, like Renegades was even some of the more boring, was the slow-paced T-sides on train. Mm. Not playing with any kind of aggression whatsoever, any kind of confidence. So you'd hope this time, if you, I mean, play it slow, all fair and well, but once they once they decide to hit a bomb site, actually be confident, be aggressive with it, be, you know... Be aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you want to do that one. Smoke's out. Back to the game. Smoke is going... Ooh, that's a nice shot from you, Stilo. That smoke is for the doors, and Zoking has left at a really, really tough spot. He's just going to get deleted. 
Yeah, really nice explosive hit. Something we wanted to see. Once they make that contact, get aggressive, get in their faces, and get the job done. Bomb's gone down right about now, and it's retake time for Vici. Three players ba playing back in towards four is going to be tough, but nice old tag through towards the stables. Only oh, that, just going to try and jump peek towards middle, even though there's a teammate there, so no worries on that. And now he's to clear out close. That's the next problem. Ustillo is there, and he's holding this one together. Two big kills for him, and Freeman falls four Holy alive. Hell. That's not bad. Stillo with a pretty good round there. Four kills for him. He's having a He's having a game. He's having a heater. Twenty four and eight. A really heater. good stuff, yeah. Or on a heater. Whatever you however you want to call it. Either way, very nice headshots from him. <laughs> I I just I'm just learning it. <laughs> it's, it's just it is nice though, Conan. That last shot. I don't know how that lands, but it does. I mean, it was it was pretty much impossible at that point for Renegades to kind of lose that round in the post plant. They yeah. had so many different crossfires set up from so many different places. Even even with the flank coming in, I mean, that, that flank, it's it's one of the unfortunate feelings where you, you come down that ramp and there's no one actually there. Two players for Renegades are over in holes. So, can't really come to effect. And they're going to have to buy into this round. I think that's why we're seeing this timeout um, is a tactical. Actually, it's from Renegades, not from Vici. They're being very, very cautious even when they win. Of, of just making sure they stay focused. This, and the tough is part micro is, management you can see finest. on the screen, zero remaining. Yeah. So if they run into some kind of difficulty, if Ichi goes on a big run, no chance for Kassan to come in and say, you know, this is this this is the change we need. It's it's an approach. It's an interesting one, and it's quite risky, but it, it is micromanagement almost, and they kind of need it at the moment. They're still in that very fledgling stage where they need to just be put basically into the right mindset almost every single time. Now, this is a very important round for them as well. Maybe hence why the pause, but JKS could be going in first here. Good, nice double nade. I like the idea. Unfortunately, the wall blocks most of the damage. Zoking is kind of put on notice and brought down pretty low. Bomb on Nexa is going to rotate over towards Aza. They're kind of in the middle of the map right now. Three players from Vici at the A bomb site, potentially because of those nades. Feeling like the pressure is just going to continue to come from that angle. But it looks more than anything, Renegades is going to leave JKS in these danger stairs as a kind of lurk. See what kind of information he can find. He's got a UMP, he's got full utility as well, and it's then going to end up at the B bomb site. I like this so far. Even if JKS makes a little bit of noise, puts down one smoke, he's kind of in the position to do the smoke towards the door. It's a nice little piece of a fake. If they actually go for it, they might not need to. One flash comes in towards B, and now he can begin the lurk if he wants to, but they kind of hit the brakes here. They're not actually going off this just yet. Well, that one flash over at B, and now JKS decides to use all his utility. So you can see Jackson and Almond were starting to rotate, but not anymore. So they're just trying to pull this defense apart. And it's, I think it's actually going to work in the end. And JKS is taken out. Now Renegades decides to go back towards it. We saw this on train, and it was a bit of a nightmare. And we'll see how it fares this time. All of Ichi is going to be on the rotation oh now. Zoking can do so much, but he's going to miss the shots. Coming up the mid-ramp, though, everyone is here. They have smokes. They have Molotovs. They can make this work. It's just time is of the essence. Fake upon fake upon fake, and now it might just go wrong. Ullman does find Azza, but you're down 15 seconds. Let's see how many go alive. 3v3, make it a 2v2. Quick frags come in. Again, Yusilo just being a complete and utter monster for the Renegade sides, keeping these rounds together pretty much when he needs to, but that was very last minute. Yeah, it, I mean, those, those are the calls that are very, very scary to make. That's a panic call out of Nexa. Losing JKS like that, and yeah, just one kill going the other way. Good good frags from you still here, the double, the transfer over. That's nicely done. 13 to four, and Vici's gotta save into this one. They've gotta go into the next round with as many rifles as possible and just get started on the winning ways. Try and go for it for, uh, you know, just string a lot, 10, 10 together. Ish. <laughs> Nailed it. Next up, on towards Advent already. And Azza is straight on through with the big Mac Daddy. So, uh, yeah, this is this is all but over. Big blink of an eye and all that job. Lucillo just going to pad it out as well. Why he's not? He's going for 30. I think he's, he's almost there. I think he's at like 29, 28. 28. He's, he's, he is having a game, let's be real. It, it started off like a, oh, he's, he's doing all right for himself. And then just kind of <laughs> like, all right, he's really doing good. <laughs> like Nexo was the one who kind of caught my eye early on, but it has been still and, and the frags he's kind of kept Renegades closing out these rounds as well. Well, it's been a 12-0 run for Renegades. when It was one time 4-2 for Vici. So this is, um, th those pauses have put, put the focus into Renegades and they have not slowed down whatsoever. And this is almost one of those things where with the way you still is playing, you can say, just go do whatever you want. You're obviously feeling it. Absolutely no question about that one. Azza going to take the fight towards drop. 
Doesn't actually get much done, but look at the ground gained by JKS already. Straight up towards middle, it's going to put a problem in towards Zoking's hands. He feels uncomfortable now. He can't feel safe from anywhere. Long's now not watched either. He's going to have to fall back. They've actually called over a massive rotate. And Justillo just going to walk out. And why not? You're going to have complete and utter control. Real dominance coming out from him. And now they can secure the site. Pretty gets to decent one positions, especially now. He's just... He's That's just cutting 30. through these guys, and 31. he's not stopping! You still is an absolute beast! Zoking finally chains him up, but... That's, uh... Yeah, it's, it's hard to handle when he's just seeming to be on this sort of level. Yeah, and now they will have to go for it as well. Zoking feels like he needs to, but he's only got 2 HP. Now he has to fall away. Just keep the M4 for the next round. Bail out. That's gonna be 15 for Renegades, and even without any timeouts remaining, it should be. I mean, surely, when you have this many map points, 11 of them, you should be able to close things out. Very, very nice game from Ustilo. And I mean, this this is one of the things as well that just alleviates a lot of the pressure for uh, for Nexa as an in-game leader is, is that he's got a player that's like this, so no matter what he calls, it's probably going to work just because how insane he's playing. Yeah, he, he is absolutely on point. That's... that's it's, it's impressive. It's not normally Ustilo. Especially with this lineup, Renegade there's always, you know, oh, JKS is this, you know, you know, this young talent coming in, explosive player, nutty aim. Same thing gets said for Azza when he's feeling it, but you still always kind of went a little bit under the radar, but this, this is a very interesting turn of events. I'm loving it. Well, you hope they can continue this through, yeah, through today, exactly. right? Like this, this, uh, the thing is, the reason I'm not overly excited is because this is what Renegades were meant to be doing. This was meant to be, you know, the 16-4, the 16-5, you know, sort of quite a one-sided matchup. This should have been Renegades, and they shouldn't have lost to Chiefs the way they did. So this seems like they're just back on track. It feels like they're going through the motions. It looks like they're going to survive to fight another day, basically, at this point. You still have those straight through again. No real hindrance to their approach here. And now, let's see what info he can get. Basically, peeking the boost, but he is. I yeah. think they've seen his gun. Yeah, they definitely have, and he's just, that's an easy take down for Ahmed. Nicely done from him, obviously knowing you can spot that angle. Next is not prepared for him to get all the way up as well. He spots him right at the end, but he's dropped out. Nifty with one AWP kill, and Almond is kind of stuck at these stairs at the moment. Do they realize he's here? They should. Nifty's just going to bail out. Don't have to commit anywhere quite yet. Massive rotation for Vici, but Renegade's not able to take advantage of it. No, and as a looking for an opportunity down towards Rock. That but just gives him the old drive-by. Nifty going to at least try and trade it out, but you're just down to JKS at this point. The bomb's still in drop. Luckily, it doesn't fall over the other side, so there's still a possibility of this round maybe going his way, but hard to recover. Does get the bomb. Gets himself a free molly. There's another one to pick up as well, so why not use it if you want to give it away? But he is left in the 1v3, and it's going to be hard to work his way out, but he's going to give it a good go anyway. You might as well. 35 seconds left. Looking for them to boost up. Seeing if they're going to make a mistake, help him alleviate some pressure, but he's going to have to do it all on his own. Now he does have, I mean, no matter where he goes, he's got a one-on-one, -on -one, right? They, they, now they hear the nades over towards drop. Now... If Vici decides, they can kind of group up. But at this point, I think it's just save the AK-47. 20 seconds yeah. left, and he's nowhere near. I, I like the idea, though. Do a little fake jump by drop. Give away a bit of sound. Imply that he's already dropped down. He hasn't. And he does mulling out towards the stairs. And yeah, this is this is full-on save time. And no one really playing into this from Vici. They just kind of hit the brakes and sat back going, well, you know, he's not going to go for it. He can recover the AWP and take that into the next one as well. So that's a nice little addition if they need it, if they fancy it. And he will. Oh, to be careful. And yeah, keeping over the orb. The money's still decent. They can drop anyone else yeah. out. As is low, but it's fine. Everyone else is in a decent spot. So they're in no rush to close this out. They're 15 to 5 now. It's still looking good. And for Vici, it's, you know, back to the wall CS. Yeah, and that round was obviously a little bit of Renegades just saying you still go see what you can find on the platform and, and not, not much. So it, it, it'll be interesting to see what they do if they're forced into ever having to execute in this or they're just going to let kind of a, some individual star open things up for them. Here's the boost that Ustilo was looking for last round, but he's not in that position. Learned his lesson. A bit Did unfortunate <laughs> for him. <laughs> Didn't Unlucky. go so well. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know you could be spotted so easily there. The gun just sticks that. Oh, oh my oh god, god what? If you're going to tilt, that's a moment. Just sat there like, really? Oh, that's great, yeah. Here we go. Thank you, CSGO. A jumping shot, and then that sort of thing happens. <laughs> Not only do you get jumping killed by a UMP, the 5-7, just to add insult to injury, but it works out so well for Vici. They're, they're, they're you know, smiling. They're in a great spot now. A 5v3, little to no damage gain. You're know, not really lost anything. They're in a great spot. Yeah, this is not going to be fun to close out for Renegades in that kind of a situation. Jackson close up as well. 
Nifty's got a Molotov to clear it out, but there's the flash peak. Oh, and he misses the shot. He's going for the other one. Going for the other player, and it's Nifty who recovers. Now, they at least know there's one more towards the site, so that smoke is going to help out. The bomb is on its way, but it's got to be Nifty, and it's got to be JKS to do this to start with. Close up. There's JKS. One kill. That's huge. Molotov going out in the balcony. The Ops got the position. He swings out into the open. Nice shot from Nifty. Oh, and there's JKS as well. They've just torn it apart one by one. Freeman now here. They know his location. He's got two to go against. And he's in the tightest corridor ever for that.